what is heart failure? And a lot of people are aware of heart attack and stents. How is heart failure different from heart attack? And why do we call it failure? Yeah, that's a great question. I think in the Heart Failure Society of America, this has been debated. Words have power. Branding, labeling, very powerful. And I think when this field started, there was this mislabeling, in my opinion, that happened with the condition. So we as a system call it now heart recovery program because really that's it. You want to have that positive touch because the question that we see is you treat heart failure, which I'll describe what it is, and then patients come back to you and say, if I am okay, why am I still in failure? So we try to avoid that term. I think it should be advanced cardiac recovery. So heart failure really is a chronic condition. It's like diabetes, hypertension, but what really it is, it's a state when there is an injury to the heart, normal heart functioning fine, suddenly something happens. And then the heart and body that is dancing constantly, you're always dancing. That was where we were wrong initially about this whole process. We thought that it was only the heart. We need to treat the heart only. There were no drugs for many years because we thought about the heart only. It turns out it has to be the heart and the body. So whenever there's an injury to the heart, there is a disruption. And if you're lucky, that disruption, the body has this mechanism of readjusting to get you through that could be a heart attack, it could be acute viral infection, myocarditis, it could be peripartum, it could be any injury really. And then as the readjustment happens, there's hormonal shifts, and then you come to a new state. And that state lasts for a certain time until it doesn't, because the mechanisms are there to help you acutely get through that state, but over time you develop symptoms. And the primary symptom, and I call this a syndrome, it's a group of symptoms, heart failure or heart a recovery or a cardiomyopathy really is a group of symptoms that involve primarily shortness of breath that occurs on exertion. So you lose your vitality, your stamina, you're not able to do things that you were going up a hill, chasing a grandchild, lifting groceries and coming, walking through the grocery store, right? And then there are gradations of those symptoms. As things go downhill, you start getting more and more advanced symptoms. But what you're seeing is shortness of breath on exertion because the heart is unable to pump blood effectively to meet the needs of the body. And if you look at the heart is a pump, 